What's up guys? Prox here and I am back with another video for you today. It's Friday and we're going to do our weekend tutorial. This day, today, we're going to be going into another software. We're not going to only work in 3ds Max, we're going to go into Mudbox as well. And uh, I was gonna have something really nice for you today. <laughs> Uh, I had a time-lapse video of a sculpt that I did earlier in the week and I was going to show that to you so you could see sort of my workflow and learn from that but it got corrupted and uh, time is out of the, the video is out of sync and oh, it's, it's horrible it just crashes my my software because XSplit is completely junk but instead I'm going to show you Another trick, I'm going to show you how to take your high poly model and bake it to a low poly model so you can render it in 3ds Max uh, with all the nice details intact. Well, at least most of them. So here's the model that I uh, modeled during the time lapse. And even though I'm not showing the time lapse and I don't have any music in this video, I would like to thank... Uh, Wyish, a subscriber that uh, so kindly uh, found great music uh, that that is uh, that is free of use that I could use in my videos, and I want to want to thank him for that. Even though I didn't use it, maybe I'll, I'll probably use it later. I'm gonna see if I can get you a, a time lapse during this weekend or perhaps the next week. But now we're going to be going through. Uh, something else so here is a model of a well it's basically an orc and i already have a render here uh, somewhere it's in the uh, design project folder renders and uh, yeah here is a render this is what it looks like and this is what we'll be getting into 3ds max so we have our model here but uh, if we select it and uh, we press up we can see that it is 8 million polygons and if you take 8 million polygons into 3ds max it's gonna go bonkers and die so we're going to have to press the page down button here and take it all the way down to the lowest now you don't have to go this low to take it into 3ds max but uh, this low of a resolution is the only one that has a UV maps on it uh, for some reason when you subdivide a mesh in Mudbox, it doesn't preserve the UV, so we're going to have to live with the slowest model. So what you do after you've sculpted your sculpt, and I'll probably give another tutorial later on how to uh, sculpt. Well, that's sort of an artistic thing, and I'm not really, I'm not really good at teaching people artistic stuff. I've tried before and utterly failed. Uh, Basically, just take your time and play with the software. You can get it at Autodesk's uh, uh, website as a student or as a trial or even as a purchase if you have the money. So, what you do is you select your uh, model, like so. Make sure it's yellow. And then you click on File and you go to Send to 3ds Max. Send selected as a new scene. Now, the reason we're doing this is to sort of split the model into two. You can project uh, your bake onto a lower level of the model, but I I don't really get a good result. I get a horrible result. So basically, we just bring it into 3ds Max to split the model apart. And uh, once we've done that, we can check if there are UVs. We don't be bothered by that because I know there are UVs. So I'm gonna then export it right back send it to mudbox add to the current scene and it should be in mudbox see here it's called head high one so let's uh, rename this object to head low lock no low like so so now we have two uh, head heads in our scene after that, we can uh, we can show both, can we? Yeah, they're both shown. Yeah, we can bring this one up so you can see there. So what happens here is that we're going to project the surfaces of this model onto this model. So we're going to make this model 
look like this model. Okay, what you do, you go up here to Max, you click on Extract Texture Maps. And uh, then you choose a vector displacement map. You can choose a displacement or normal map if you're making it for a game. But I'm going to choose vector displacement because that gives the best result in 3ds Max. Uh, it's incredibly, uh, incredibly great. So I'm going to click add all here and I'm going to take away the head high. And I'm going to add all here. And level 6 is the highest. Yeah, level 6, 8 million polygons. And I'm going to take away head low here. So, what this option tells you, well, it's very self explanatory, this software. But it says here target models, low resolution mesh. This is basically uh, sort of the canvas for what you're going to project onto it. It's like a. Uh, it's hard to explain. It sort of takes the shapes and takes the difference between the shapes and it makes a color for it. And when you get into 3ds Max, 3ds Max can read that color and know how much it should displace the model depending to the color. So what you want to do is you want to smooth both. I, I smooth both because when I don't, I get faster at edges. The, the, uh, tooltip says that you should only smooth the target model but you know uh, I smooth both it works that way so here you and this is the source model this is your high poly this is your low poly image properties very straightforward you can generate one map for all targets if you have multiple targets say you have multiple models in your scene you can have one map for all or you can generate a map for each target so I'm gonna have one map for all targets because I only have one and I don't really care. 4K to make this go quickly. This is basically just the image size of your uh, of your bake. Anti-aliasing, you can turn it off if you have this big of a resolution. And this is important, vector space needs to be object. All right. And texture, and then you... Let's save it to the desktop, call it uh, tutorial vectors. All right, that's you have to give it a name. Here you can choose whatever you want. Preview as a vector displacement map. Important that this one is checked, okay? <clears throat> because of the technique we're gonna be using. After that, you just click extract. And you're gonna have to wait for a while. It, Sometimes, sometimes it'll freeze and it'll say that it's not responding, that the software is not responding. Just let it wait. You know, just don't click it. Nothing. See, now it froze at 90%. It's probably going to say that it's not responding. Just let it be. Let it think. It'll respond. Yeah, there he goes. Not responding. And then extraction successful. All right. And uh, now that we can hide our head high. Click our head low. And if we go into... Uh, layers and paint you can see that our vector displacement is now a a paint layer so if we just have our head low selected and we click on oh no we can't do that we're going to we're going to go to send to 3ds max and uh, send selected as a new scene you can click on just update here if you didn't rename the model, but I renamed it from head high to head low. Now I know this uh, tutorial sort of seems confusing if you don't know uh, Mudbox or uh, anything like that, but uh, we'll we'll get more tutorials uh, as time goes by right now so now you can see we have the same model in here but this time if you click on M and you click on this eyedropper tool and you pick your uh, pick your materials up you can see that it's applied the vector, dis vector displacement map to a standard material now that's great let's just delete the material and we have our vector displacement uh, map after that we apply a uh, subsurface scatter skin material and remove the 3d displace 
and use our vector displays instead. All right. Now I'm just going to show you off the bat uh, some issues that we get with this. Because you get issues uh, naturally. Of course, 3D is never issue free. <laughs> this is the way it is. Uh, yeah, let's get a bigger resolution so you guys can see. Like 1080p. Here we go. All right. It doesn't look like the one in Mudbox. It's got choppies and edges and creases, and uh, it looks horrible in my opinion. Well, it's an easy fix. First of all, we select our model, we go into here, into the modifiers tab, and we add turbo smooth to it. Turn the iterations down and zero in the main. Click on render iteration, turn it up to two or three. You can choose whatever you want. And that should solve some of it. After that, press F10, go into uh, your render tab, all right, in mental array. And go down here to where it says displacement, global settings. You can turn the edge stacks down to one pixels and you can turn the max subdivisions up to 64K, all right? So if we render now, we should get a smoother result. And it'll take a lot longer. <laughs> Alright, great. So we got it a lot smoother, a lot more detail came in. We got some of the hairs. It's still a little bit edgy, but that's because of the underlying topology doesn't really support uh, the big changes that we want to make. So now that you know how to get uh, the displacement map into 3ds Max, um, I'm just going to open something that sort of shows what you can do with it. All right. So here I basically set up an, uh, a normal scene that I've shown you earlier, the clay render. If you go to my tutorial uh, on uh, how to clay render your models, this uh, I'll show you how to do this basically. And uh, what I've set up is a, just a, a light screen, an area light that is a rectangle and two severe area lights and the camera. And I've turned on global illumination and the result that we get is here in the renders tab and there this is what we get when we render that scene I could show you all of this how to do that but if you just go to my clay render tutorial you can learn how to make renders like this so uh, I thank you guys for watching if you have any questions Please do leave them in the comment section below, as always. And remember to comment and rate and subscribe, you know, if you want to see the more, more stuff. And if you want some entertainment for the weekend, I will be uploading a uh, another gaming tutorial. I'll probably leave a link at the bottom at the end of this video or at the, in the description or maybe just an annotation somewhere. Uh, to my other channel where you can see some gaming uh, you know everybody needs to relax once in a while I've been doing so much work in uh, school and everything so yeah um, I don't really have more to say just thank you for watching yeah and uh, I'll see you guys next time <laughs>